Welcome everyone and thanks for tuning back in. I have a real quick video today. This is going to be a solubility test of bulk supplements uh, instant creatine monohydrate and bulk supplements uh, micronized creatine monohydrate. And uh, this uh, video came to me uh, from Sean Fairley. Uh, I think I mentioned him in the, in the previous video. It's a good idea. Uh, it's going to give you uh, a kind of an, uh, what to expect. Uh, instant is nothing more than just a finer powder than micronized. So you have, you have the real granular crap that you can get uh, cheaply, the micronized, uh, I mean it's a, a just creatine monohydrate that's not micronized or instant, it's just kind of granular and you're not going to mix it in anything. I mean you, you shake it all day, it's, it's not going to mix, it's going to fall to the bottom. It's much heavier than water. All creatine is and that's why they keep trying to find ways to make it soluble in water and I, mean, I have a suspicion that even though this is instant, it's still going to settle. Uh, maybe maybe it take a lot longer time because you know it's so much finer powder. But let's get right into it uh, before the camera battery goes dead. And what this is going to be, this is 2.5 grams of creatine monohydrate in each one. And that was the micronized, and this is the instant. This is not scientific. This is not weighed out. This is just what I know uh, that these products weigh. And like I said, being instant, it's possible that there's going to be a, uh, a difference in weight and that is a topic for a different video. So we're just going to mix these up and get these going real well. And I can already tell there's a slight difference in color. It appears like there is more instant in this shot glass. They have an equal amount of water than the micronized. So we're just going to stir that up and give that a minute. Okay, so 60 seconds have passed. I literally give it a minute. No smoke and mirrors here. I'm going to bring these uh, shot glasses up to the camera so you can see better. This is the instant micronized, er, this is the instant creatine monohydrate on your right and the micronized creatine on the left. The instant is a smaller particle than the micronized. I'm going to bring them both up and then show you the results. Let me get my phone over here so I can see what you see. This is the result of 60 seconds of settling on the instant creatine. This is the result of settling on 60 seconds of the creatine. Okay, what you're viewing right now is the micronized. Let me just put the instant up beside it. Notice how on the left the micronized creatine appears more granular and it's kind of hugging the walls of the glass in a little more of a granular shape than the instant on your right. So what does that mean? It means that just buy it based on whatever you think you know you, you want. I don't think it's necessarily a reason to set out to purchase instant creatine, especially if you have to spend more money. Uh, I would highly recommend that you do not pay more for instant than you would the micronized. But another point uh, that Sean made was when he received his instant monohydrate, it expired October 29th of 2017. And that's exactly when mine expires. There is not enough time for me to consume this product by October of 2017. So Amazon has so graciously refunded my money. This creatine I bought last year expires December 31st of 2019. So uh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, he and I both had creatine, uh, instant creatine monohydrate that's, that's going to expire too soon. So make sure you pay attention to your expiration dates. Uh, it's probably not going to hurt you to consume it after your date, but I would say there's a certain amount of oxygenation that will take place and, and render the product less beneficial. So, uh, as we all know, you have to get the benefits of creatine. You must consume it every day without fail. So, if you skip a day, don't freak out, but you have to take it every day. And uh, as for this instant, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's fine, but it, you know, it's settled out almost the same as the micronized. So I'm going to try this one for you. I'm going to, I'm going to actually, it's just going to be five grams if I take both of these. So let's just, let's just stir these back up. Look at this. He 
I couldn't really tell much difference in it. So a sip of micronized, or let's see, this is the micronized. Tastes grainy. I can chew it, kind of crunchy, like a like a really fine sand. Just a finer product, uh, less granular, more of a. And I noticed too when I took the lid off, when I took the uh, the, the top of this container off, I had it everywhere. It was, I probably had a good uh, two and a half, three grams all over the table. But uh, flick your bags, flick the seams on them, especially if you're using any of these these bulk supplements products or like a bulk powders is one I think in the UK and there's there's a, there's a few others. Uh, just flick the seams out; they'll seal up. If you can't get them sealed, take you a fine little brush and clean the the, uh, the female seam, and that way the male will fit back in it and it'll zip up properly. So, uh, great product if you can get it in date. Thanks for watching.